to hear me uh, we will start our tour to the carnival parties and celebrations today we are here in Praça Mauá in the port area of Rio a place full of vibrance and celebrations and I'd like to thank you all who have been present here with me Olá Brittany, Nomad, Oi Monique, Oi John and Elizabeth Thanks for joining. Muito obrigada por estar aqui comigo. Kelly Tavares. Hey, Sharon. Seu guia de turismo, a tour guide here in Rio de Janeiro, in Brazil. And uh, there are parties in Rio, especially here in this part of where I live, where I was born, every day, from Monday to Monday. And there are many options. Today there is a celebration here in the Art Museum of Rio. And I'm going to share a little bit of the party and the place. I hope you enjoy. Please feel free to ask your questions. The party is starting with the music. Soon I will show you inside. And of course, being there, I can't really answer your questions. But if you do make questions, I will finish the tour outside as well. And then I can talk to you. OK? Sounds good? Let's see around, Sharon. So here we are. Praça Mauá, the port zone of Rio de Janeiro, with some iconic constructions, the Tomorrow Museum or Museu do Amanhã, the military area of the port, the Pier Mauá, where the cruise ships arrive when you come traveling on a cruise ship. This is a place where you stop in Rio. And the Art Museum of Rio, which is a very beautiful museum and the uh, art school of, the, sound, of the, the museum. Here in this port zone, there are many stories related to the black ancestry and black heritage of Brazil. Samba was born in Bahia and in Rio de Janeiro, being brought by Africans and being built here with the numerous cultural expressions of the the country that was shaping itself. I like to say, uh, can you hear me here? There inside, you won't be able. I won't speak. Just be. Uh, it will be mostly the the sound, the moves, the beats of the drums, and I will show you around. Can you hear me well? Yes, great, Elizabeth. So here. Uh, is in the art museum today. They're having a celebration, opening of the exhibition Un Defeito de Cor. It's a color, uh, color defect, a color malfunction. It's about an exhibition with many black artists talking, uh, creating art around the bestseller, the best-selling book, Brazilian book, 
um defeito de cor of Ana Maria Gonçalves. And inside of the museum collection, many artists today are showcasing the works, their works related to that book. And in their art, artworks, there will be paintings, contemporary artworks, collage, prints, photography, objects, and different other media. Because this area here of the port zone is where the biggest slave trade took place. And it's the, known as the Little Africa, where the samba schools, the first samba schools, and the first samba parties and music were created. So then you see in the collection of the museum, many street art, many street artists and artists joining the collection and showcasing today. Hi Dolly, Brittany, Katie and Carol. Brittany was here present already and more people joined for the celebrations on the opening of Um Defeito de Cor art exhibition at the Mar Museum, Art Museum of Rio. So like I said, Carnival was created here and Samba as well, here and in Salvador, Bahia. So there are many manifestations of Samba and they can be different from each other in genres and different ca cadence of the rhythms and beats. And today I will show you the Beja Flor Samba School. I'm wearing the shirt of Beja Flor Samba School, which is one of the dozens of Samba schools spread throughout Rio de Janeiro, also in São Paulo, and Espírito Santo, and other states. But mainly here you see the Samba schools will have a contest, an annual contest. They will compose songs to talk about our history, our culture and expressions, to worship our ancestries and histories, and good part of our cultural legacy. Today I will share a little bit of the music style of the Samba schools of Beja Flor, playing songs of other artists, other Samba schools as well. Hi Chelsea, thanks for joining. So what do you see now, and I'm sharing, sharing in a minute, it's a manifestation of the Samba beats in a small group. So uh, uh, the school has thousands of people creating the Samba schools, the parades, the parties to the Samba drum, the beats and the compositions. But here, when they do demonstrations in museums or special events, they will bring a small part of their big uh, of the big band and they will play like a snippet of what they can do if you can imagine hundreds of people playing the drums at the same pace and beat to the same songs together and dancing together to different choreographies so you see a little bit of the samba from samba schools and from the samba school Grêmio Recreativo Escola de Samba Beija Flor. Let's go! Hi, Carla! Welcome! Thank <laughs> you. 
Tivemos a honra de ser vice-campeão do carnaval com bateria nota 50 do Mestre Clean e Mestre Rodney. A harmonia nota 50. E agradecer também as nossas baianas, a nossa velha é. guarda, a tia Débora. E já estou convidando vocês aqui que toda quinta-feira está acontecendo a nossa eliminatória de família na TG Flávia, Zona Sul da Baixada. E outra, quiserem ir, tranquilo. Não chega muito caro, não, tá dando muito pouca gente na quadra, dando 4 mil pessoas, toda quinta-feira. Se vocês chegarem, tá dando muito forte. Em 2022, empreteceu um pensamento, é o vivo da beija-flor. É de Nilópolis! The Art Museum of Rio is hosting an opening of the exhibition Um Defeito de Cor. Numerous artists inspired by the best-selling Brazilian book Um Defeito de Cor composed artworks of contemporary art, photography, paintings, objects, contemporary conceptual art around themes such as religious tolerance, religious embracing, and uh, and also respect, also respect to the Afro-Brazilian cultures. They will be representing that in their art, which for its time is based on the book of Ana Maria Gonçalves, a very important Brazilian writer who uh, launched this book and is completing now 16 years of uh, in a special edition and I highly recommend. Still, I think the translation is not ready. It's Portuguese for now. But soon, after selling 60,000 copies in Brazil, this is going to get and spread in other places as well. So demonstrate interest on that on the Amazon. And then keep with me here because Beja Flor Samba School is opening the party of the exhibition today. And why so? I'm wearing the shirt of Samba School Beja Flor and it's representing many characters of our history. Zumbi from Quilombo dos Palmares, Anastasia, Queen, and Conceição Evaristo, who is another famous Brazilian writer. Many episodes which happened during the slavery time here in the port zone of Rio, where the biggest slave trade took place in the Atlantic, and where today there is a memorial of UNESCO to the memory of the transatlantic slave trade that took place in Brazil, the last country to abolish slavery in the world. So it's a big shame on our history. And this is a tour that I give here on a walking tour. I did it in the morning, I do every week, based on the 
sensitive memories of this part of the place, of the city, of that will encompass the issues that goes our populations, our communities of the diaspora throughout the Americas and Africa, focusing with Afro-Brazilian roots. Now here is where I share the history of Samba and sharing a little bit of that Samba from Samba schools with you today. Samba school, Beja Flor, who is, that is inside of the pillars of the Mar Museum, the Art Museum of Rio. They are uh, they had their parade this year on the topic of the book and famous writers, black Afro-Brazilian artists and writers. And the, the theme of the lyrics was of our legacy. Therefore, connected with the book. So they were invited to do the party here and open the doors of the exhibition. They're almost finishing their performance. And we have the, the ending of the presentation of Beja Flo Samba School. A snippet of the party for you. I started a few minutes before. And here, they are living, the famous Baianas, dressed up as women from coming from Bahia, concentrating here the matriarchs of Samba. They come and the parade on the Samba schools, each Samba school, each year, they have a sector of the Bayanas to dance and parade. The matriarchs, they're really important for the Samba culture and also the drumming, which now are finishing. So, like I said in the invitation, the, that the time of start and ending of the programming is in Brazil and the parties are really fluid. They don't have a strict time to start or to finish. And the museum is a little bit uh, shorter, the presentation. And then I arranged the tour of 30 minutes in order to present a little bit of what the Samba School music is about. There are many uh, Samba styles, and I'm gonna walk a little bit in the port zone with you now so I can answer your questions and share more of this beautiful part of town. So people are here getting ready to the other parties in this part of town, which many times many visitors who come to Rio, they stay in the south zone part of the city. If you look in Copacabana Beach, Ipanema, Leblon, but the Bohemian neighborhoods, the diverse neighborhoods, they will be actually more in the places. I hear the best popcorn in Rio de Janeiro. So the most diverse population uh, group, population group, will be concentrated in the center of Rio and also in the north zones, peripheries, and suburbs of the city. Here in the port area, when you arrive in the hotels in the south zone, mainly visitors end up staying more there because uh, there are more infrastructures of hotels and restaurants. So many times in the receptions of the hotel, they will be saying that don't come here, don't come to the port zone because it's not safe. What well, is not really true if you know where you're going, like, I'm telling you and I'm sharing you some of these amazing places where people are really, really safe around here. Here in the Pier Mauá, where we are now, Praça Mauá, 
and it's where many museums are located. People come from all over the world to this zone uh, of the city to celebrate the Afro-Brazilian roots, summer roots, and parties. Also, they have good restaurants and places to stay as well. A few hotels in, uh, in the city center, and I was born in this region. I live here. There were more people who joined. For you who don't know me, I'm Kelly Tavares, tour guide here in the region, and I showed you the, a little bit of the samba party of the samba school Beja Flu. This area here at this time of the day is when many people are having a beer, gathering with other folks, having lunch, waiting for the next parties to start. And there are quite a few. Every Monday, Friday, Saturday, sometimes Sunday, there will be a parties, samba parties going on in this neighborhood but knowing where to go, like a local, like a tour guide, uh, you can find parties from Monday to Monday. I'd like to congratulate other people who joined the tour. Thank you so much for being here present. Kelly, you said you would come, you came. Thanks, Judy, Sherry, and Luisa for joining. Tess, Amanda, hello. Hi, Audra and Holly. Dina, Joe, Eva, Juliana, Michael, Virginia, Claire from North Florida, and Erlinda. Now I'm going to share you a little bit more of the art of the zone south, south zone, no, of the port zone area of Rio de Janeiro. So when you look around in this video that I'm showing you, can you tell it's like very scary or... Uh, dangerous because that's what I get when people come to take the tour of the Little Africa Black History Walk tour with me. They come a little bit afraid, saying that in the hotels people said told them not to come. But don't do that because many people in the hotels in the South Zone they don't usually come to hang out here. But this is the place where people will come from many other neighborhoods and many other places in the world to see the beautiful art. Hello from Atlanta, Georgia, Monique. People will come to see the beautiful art. This one's representing uh, Paulinho da Viola, Tia Ciata, the, the church here of Morro da Conceição, also present here in the other side as a colonial architecture. These arts, they just finished painting it last year, last week, and uh, this area here have more, has more than three kilometers of street art in different parts of the neighborhood. It's a thriving community with artists coming from all over Brazil, all over the world, to paint the different walls and to celebrate African roots, Brazilian culture, Nelson Mandela from South Africa, Teresa de Benguela from the Columbus, resistant maroon communities, Mercedes Batista, the black ballet dancer that I tell the story, her story here in this tour, Dandara of Quilombo dos Palmares, the maroon community of the greatest Quilombo in, of our history, and Lucia, who I personally met in this part of of town, telling and sharing her stories and her art. Oh, nice, Kelly. Good to hear. So you see, at this time, many people are gathering, listening to samba music, other style. The DJs are already setting the table for the next samba performance. That's going to be another style. You see the type of instruments that will come are not big, big drums. They will be smaller drums, the majority, and one drum bass, the singers, and many uh, string instruments. Soon they will be playing to this whole crowd. Hi, Trinity. Thanks for joining. We're in Largo, São Francisco da Prainha, and I'm going to share you some of the Baianas making the acarajés.
Olá, meninas, boa tarde, tudo bom? Estou gravando aqui para mostrar um pouco do, do, do ofício de vocês, produzindo a Carajé, tá bom? Sou guia de turismo aqui na região. Tudo bom? E aí eu falo muito da beleza do trabalho de vocês, da importância histórica. Então é legal às vezes mostrar também para o pessoal na live. Muito obrigada, viu? So they are making the acarajé. She's producing the dough there. And frying, it's a deep fried dough. It, so it's served with shrimp, dried shrimp. It's an African tradition. Surrounded by uh, important uh, plants, which are also magical plants with energetic powers and other symbols of our, our African ancestry. We have in the acarajé dish, that's how we say, acarajé, the, the vatapá and karuru, which are foods made with okra. And there's the dough made out of black-eyed peas, beans. So she has to move and stir the dough with her hands with that big wood spoon. She has to dress up with the traditions of the Baianas who enriched our culture here in the region. Uh, proper garments to sell the acarajés and remember the traditions of her grandparents. So, so here's the dough being fried to make the acarajé. And of course, as many of the black cuisine served with the pimenta, the spicy, very strong, muito forte. So you can, you know, burn. Look at the dough, it's getting ready there, getting brown, are golden. It's also the food of the Orisha, dedicated to the Orisha Yansan, the Orisha representing the lightnings and fire. Hi, Barbara, Heather, Trinity. Thank you so much for being present and together. Let's continue our walk after showing the acarajé. Ciao, ciao. Obrigada. Opa. Soon the samba party today will be a group of women, samba delas. They will be uh, the performers for today. And many people are here gathering, having their beer, sandwiches, feijoadas, traditional Brazilian food, barbecues, cold beer. I already had my lunch. It's time of preparation for the elections here in the city. So there are many candidates also bringing their stickers, their campaigning on the streets. Hi, Robert. Thanks for joining. We are in Largo, São Francisco da Prainha. We just had a samba, the end of one of the samba performances, and soon another party and another one and another one. We'll start one after the other here in the port zone of Rio de Janeiro. There is music everywhere, different samba styles going on. People are here in the Tendinha having some food. And there is a beautiful art here representing Hilario Jovino Ferreira. Ah, não, estou mostrando lá em cima, se estão aparecendo, não. Ah, só se quiser aparecer, pode. <risos> Alô? Não, tá não. Estão curtindo? Tá, então. É, então, é, o que, que eles estão falando? They are saying here that they are here enjoying the city of Rio de Janeiro, that the cariocas, not all of cariocas come. Just the ones who are wise. Só os espertos, sabe? <laughs> tchau, tchau. Uh, this is like the Salvador, the Pelourinho of Rio de Janeiro. Yes. Muito verdade. É um. É conectado. É. Aí, isso aí. 
So beautiful hills and, and sides and paths to the different hills in the region where the first favela was born. Olá, de novo. So you see art everywhere, cool people, amazing, diverse, smart people with lots of contents to share. <laughs> Tudo bom? Tô fazendo aqui um tour virtual. Lindeza, cadê meu beijo? Yeah. <laughs> bom trabalho, bom descanso. So here... Eu tô, eu tô fazendo uma gravação aqui agora, trabalhando com o tour virtual. Aí o senhor vai aparecer, porque me pediu a informação. Dá licença. So, ele quer saber da Beija Flor? Acabou agora. So, he wants to know about Beija Flor Samba School. If they were presenting themselves, they said that they just finished. Tchau, tchau. Obrigada. I told him, like, Ah, uh, you, sir, you want to ask me a question? I'm here working now, so crazy a little bit, so I'm going to introduce you as well, okay? <laughs> so he was a little shy, but he ended up enjoying. So this uh, so dangerous area, according to the people in the south zone, is many of them end up also coming because here it's where we have the best carnivals, either on the streets, and also in the samba drum where the samba schools will come annually to parade in the avenue. And each samba school will start their rehearsals in July, August, weekly, on a weekly basis. And they will have the samba parties, the pagodes, the barbecues, the feijoadas where they serve this traditional dish. And they will have the rehearsals so people can learn how to play uh, the drum beats of that year, to compose new songs or to do the, the choreographies as well. So in this part here, we are arriving in the South. So it's where many people are already setting up their stands and booths. It's the year of the election. So Lula is a candidate for pres president again. And he's the preferred one here in this part of town. So uh, the workers, trabalhadores, they are here already setting up the stands so they can soon, expect soon, I mean, in about four hours, there will be more parties here at night. So they will be uh, playing more music in this part and serving caipirinhas. Here in the Pedra do Sal, Oi, oi. Fazendo tour virtual. <risos> Fica tranquilo, tranquilidade. Tô mostrando a pedra aí. Oi? Oi? Tá ao vivo aí? Tá ao vivo, tá ao vivo. <risos> Mas não tô, tô apontando pra aí, não. So here is Pedra do Sal. It's where I run the tour of the Little Africa and I tell the history of the Quilombos of Brazil and the Maroon communities of Brazil the invention of samba and the creation of samba in this area. And here the representation of the leadership of Zumbi. People are taking pictures in front of the Zumbi or Zumbi dos Palmares. The image of the leader that never dies, representing the greatest quilombo of Palmares that we have in our history. So what I'm telling you here is just sharing a little bit connected with the history of some because some of you who arrived before the beginning of the tour I started the, to show the samba because I knew it was almost at the end and I showed a little bit of for you and now a little bit of the places where I share many stories and we talk and we build up this knowledge together around the origins of the samba genres and music I'm always running tours in Hego. Uh, not every week, because fortunately now we are having live tours again in the city. I'm being able to run the walking tours in different parts of the city. Hi, Leah, Arabia, Linda. Um, 
And then I've been running these walking tours and the last virtual tours. I do the tours here in Santa Teresa, Sugarloaf Mountain, Christ Redeemer, many other places. And here this beautiful art representing Pixinguinha, Tia Seata, the Capoeira, Baianas, Heitor dos Prazeres, and João da Baiana, some of the creators of Samba. Now, this history here is connected to our Brazilian history, Afro-Brazilian history, but also with my personal history. There is the kindergarten where I studied until uh, when I was five years old. It's still running there. It's the paradise of the children. And on the other side is the building where I lived until when I was five years old. So my personal history is tied to the history of the places where many of my ancestors were brought and set residency in the port zone. I lived in this building here until when I was five years old. And then I moved to Lapa, the Bohemian neighborhood where many other samba parties take place. This is a magic place with a nice restaurant called Omolokun. It's a cultural center. They serve good food of Afro-Brazilian traditions. It's a pleasant place with the wind coming here. Olá, tudo bom? And they just finished an artwork on the wall. Estou fazendo um tour virtual. Venha, venha. Hello. Se apresenta, venha. Olá, eu sou a Inoã, moradora aqui da Pedra do Sal, nosso lugar favorito em Rio. Ah, but you speak English, huh? Ah, ok. Hi, good afternoon, guys. I am a Inoã, I live in here, e yeah, I, I love this place. Well, <laughs> welcome, and come on, meet this wonderful place. <laughs> Thank you so much, you know. Would you please help me and put this back here? Right. And the other hand is here holding the gimbal. Oh, it's super I know, camera. she's always with this nice spirit and a smile welcoming us here in Morro da Conceição. Come and get to know us come on. in this beautiful place. <laughs> See you, bye-bye. Tchau, tchau, amor. Tchau, tchau, bom te ver. Bom te ver <laughs> Até a próxima. Eu já anexei. Não, que não tem pausa nem ao vivo. Ah, <risos> Tô apontando para lá. Já, já anexei tudo o teu site lá no, no, no Valor. Sério? Peraí, peraí. Deixa eu te passar aqui. É, manda para mim, por favor, pelo WhatsApp para eu divulgar, que aí eu também divulgo para outras pessoas. Sim, sim. Tá ótimo. Tá? tá. Valeu, Ana, ah, o apoio. Você já é nossa parceira. Massa. Hoje eu levei lá mais quatro pessoas. Ontem Ai, também. Ai, que maravilha. Gostou do Alembio? Ai, Massa, né? E Isso, aí você aprende um bocado lá também naquele novo plataforma, né? Tá, obrigada, amor. Tchau. Até. Hi, Rishi, Monique, Cheryl. Thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed. That's the vibe of many people around. My people, our people, that's the way many of us are. Many of us want to be that way so we can better connect with each other. And this other beautiful art, Entre Tempos Morro, you can find on Instagram five different artists, ladies uh, living here in the community. They interviewed a lot of residents and they came up with a beautiful design and drawing project, which now they just last week finished painting. As you see, beautiful art. Then I can even give you a tour, sharing some of the stories which are present on these walls. Hi, Satyam. And let me see a place where I can finish the tour. Um, let's see. 
maybe here, these colorful walls pointing to the baobab tree there. And I'd like to know from you, how are you doing? If you enjoyed the tour, a mix of samba music, history, art, culture, and connection with locals. Hi, Dolores, Satian, please join next time, next tour. Sign up to my profile and follow me at Rio Encantos. R I O E N no R I O E N C A N T O S Rio Encanto social media YouTube Facebook also Instagram Nice thank the laws thank you so much and I will go back to my walking tours next week I will be doing more and next time I have an opportunity to after work, show you more about Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. I'll make sure I will do so. In case you want private session, private tour, you can also commission either with Hey Go or request me on Zoom to organize with a, glue, a group so we could have FaceTime with cameras as well and run specific tours at, commissioned by you and you can request them, okay? Thank you, Monique, for sharing. Muito obrigada. Valeu. E até a próxima. See you on the next one. Tchau, tchau. Tchau. Beijos. Tchau, Kelly. Wait for you here in Rio de Janeiro. Let's samba party. Oh, you're welcome, Monique. My pleasure. Now it's a beautiful afternoon here with a wind coming here. Ciao, ciao.